What's up everyone, Alex here. In my last video, we looked at importing textures into Dolphin to make our games have high definition textures. This time we're going to do the same but with PS2 games on Aether SX2. This one will be really simple and actually you can do this same method with moving textures to Dolphin as well. I'll be using Z Archiver here but you can use the regular Android file manager. All you need to do is download the texture pack for the game you want to your internal storage or transfer it there from your PC and have it unzipped. The folder needs to have the same serial name as the game you want to have the textures replaced. So if we look at Metal Gear Solid 2 in Aether SX2, if we open up the game and we can see the serial at the top, but if the name is too long and can't be read, you can tap the game settings icon and you'll see the serial in the summary. This folder must have a folder inside called replacements, and inside this folder is where all the textures are. The texture pack you download should already have the replacements folder with the textures inside, but we should double check just in case. Then all you need to do is simply move the serial number folder and take it to your Aether SX2 folder, go to Android, Data, find your Aether SX2 folder at the bottom, then Files, then Textures. Once you've placed them, you need to go into Aether SX2 and make sure that you go to Settings and then Graphics. Scroll down and turn on Load Texture Replacements and Asynchronous Texture Replacement Loading. And that's it. You now have new high definition textures for your game. I also recommend that you set your resolution for each game to 2.5x as this is essentially around 1080p and some of these games with the textures on will be quite demanding in some areas. If for some reason like me you couldn't set the per game settings, I'm using Nether SX2 over Aether SX2 as I'm using that in Pegasus because that's my front end, then you may need to go to the game settings folder in Aether SX2 and edit the file manually. You can see which game has which settings file by going to the same place we looked for the serial earlier. And that's it. Now you have some high quality textures for your favorite PS2 games. So let's check some of them out. So the first game we're going to check out is Black. And the first thing I'm going to do is tell you how to activate a PNAC code. So we go to Patch Codes and we're going to find our code online. I will leave a link in the description. So we go to Input File and we're going to save that PNAC code onto our internal storage. So I put mine in the Downloads folder and I have just a convenient Aether SX2 cheats. And in here I have different cheats for different things I might want to activate. And here is the 60 FPS patch. So I've added that. And you also have to enable patches. Also here, I'm just going to show I'm using Vulkan for all these games. That's in my general settings. And the aim here is to use 2.5 resolution. I don't really see the point of going higher. It's about 1080p. And also here in advanced settings. For this game in particular, we're going to be using GPU palette conversion. Not of the other games. But I also do want to say that... I've also activated in each of these games auto flush and a memory wrap setting. So I had some weird problems when I was recording this and doing stuff and uh, I was having times when the games were not running very well, not, not even 100% and then times when they were and I'm not sure if that's something to do with the, the Odin 2 bases memory wrap thing so that might have something to do with it. I'll leave a link to that um, script that people have been using to play Switch games. I'm also going to be toggling between um, software renderer here because when I do that, it actually doesn't use the textures that you've loaded in. So when you turn on that setting, um, all the textures you have disappear. So I'm using that as a comparison to quickly show what like some of these textures actually look like. And black is actually, like, this. I've never played black before, but at 60 frames with all these textures and stuff, it's it's a lot nicer to play. I remember testing this and thinking, I, I don't really think I'm going to play this. But after playing it like this, it, it it's, it's pretty damn fun, actually. And uh, the only thing I really don't like is that you can't adjust your sensitivity. It's very floaty in this game, but it is what it is. But, yeah, man, this is uh, this was a blast.
Now, this is the one I was looking forward to the most. Uh, if I was going to play this again, I was like, I've got to have HD textures on. And um, they look really crisp on this device. So, yeah, 2.5x resolution again. I've got those two settings I mentioned earlier, the auto flush and memory wrap, just in case. I didn't get any slowdowns in this game, and that surprised me. Everything looks really cool. All the effects, uh, every texture on the floor is sharp. There's one coming up here where I noticed my footprints, and I was like, wait a minute, are the footprints high def? And I think, like, maybe they are. They look really good. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I like to... I'm having a mess around here with like some of the girl pictures, the bottles. There's some cool stuff to look at here. So it doesn't seem like a lot, but it really does add like a little bit more sharpness. And we've got a great device here, so I think like I think it is worth the, the the amount of storage you have to use to replace these texture files with. And I'm hoping that this video does convey the little differences across. Like here, if you look at the light at the top, it looks quite sharp. And then once we do toggle software render and look back up, it's kind of blurry, like the light's there, but you can tell the texture of the light is quite blurry. And then once we flip back, the light actually looks really good again. And I think this is a first when I've tested this game. I'm actually playing as Raiden. And yeah, so I was having like problems with slowdowns in here as well. And I wasn't sure if it was the settings I used, the auto flush and the uh, memory wrap. But like I was recording this video and then suddenly I was getting slowdowns again. And I was so confused. And then I restarted my device and then I used the, the base memory swap skip that I used uh, I'll set. I'll leave a link to that that the community's been using to basically uh, get better performance from their devices because, for example, Nintendo Switch emulation has been not as good as it should have been. But then with this memory swap uh, script, it's working a lot better. I think that might have something to do, might actually help with the PlayStation 2 games as well, and also like other texture replacements because some of those, depending on the settings, can be like loaded into the RAM as well. And here we got Metal Gear Solid 3. So here's a quick look at the floor here. So this is textures on. And then when we swap over, uh, yeah, it's kind of washed out and stretched. So those are the original textures. In this game, I didn't notice the textures as much. I'm, I'm not sure if it's, that's because this game is locked at 30 frames. But it's a Metal Gear Solid game. So it's going to be worth putting textures on, looking at some of the walls here. I also go up the ladder and get all the soldiers to like throw their grenades at me. I thought that would be a good test to see if the performance is good. And yeah, it didn't slow down one bit. So this has been running really great. And this is Onimusha 3. So this is this was a quite difficult to run game and it's running absolutely smoothly with the textures on at 2.5x resolution. Because it's third person, the camera's kind of like pulled out a bit. It's kind of hard to see some of the textures. So I'm hoping some of the little comparisons I've done uh, show just enough. It does look quite nice in person when you're holding the screen close to you. So I do definitely think it's worth it. And I've never played Onimusha 3. I think, you know, you get to play as Jean Reno in Paris. 
So those sections might qu look quite good as well with high definition textures on. So yeah, this is another one I'm looking forward to playing. And next up we have Swicoden 3. I'm a big fan of Swicoden, however I've only played 1 and 2. Swicoden 2 is one of my favourite JRPGs of all time, and I just never got to play 3 for some reason. But this game has a very clean look, and I thought the high, def high definition textures would look fantastic in this game. And I could, when I was editing the video, it, it was kind of like harder to notice when I do comparisons here. Uh, in person, it definitely does look a lot better. I think the clean style works very well with these high definition textures. I think in the cutscenes when they're like up close, like in here for example, Valkyrie Profile 2, during these cutscenes, damn, you can really see the textures pop. And uh, this is a really cool cinematic to actually see these textures work in action. Again, Valkyrie Profile 2 is a RPG I've not finished. I, I have this. I played maybe about a third of the game. So something like this is probably going to push me to try it again. But yeah, this game is absolutely beautiful. To think that Japan is only a short journey across the sea from where we are. That's why we're here, to go to Japan. What? So we're at 2.5x, but when I got to this section of the game, it actually went down to about 70% speed. So I just wanted to show here that I have turned hardware download mode to disabled. And that fixed the problem, and we're back to 100% speed, and it's been running fantastic. And damn, yeah, really, really pretty game. Seeing parts like this, I could like definitely see this as like it could easily be like a switch port that has been upscaled, and I would totally believe it. And that's one of the reasons I love all this like custom texture stuff for these old games because it really feels like they're like games that are coming out again and are absolutely worth replaying. And that's it, that is my video on the custom textures for Aether SX2. So I hope that helped you out. There's a lot of texture packs out there for different games. So go out there, test them. They're really cool. The next video I'm going to do is going to be testing Switch emulation on here. There's a lot more games I want to test. I think it'd be pretty cool to see them, especially with the new updates to Yuzu. So if you like this video, give it a like. Hit the bell icon if you want to see more. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.